Today I'm going to be putting the patch pockets on the double face wool coat and that's what's next. So, to understand the process of working with double faced wool, like I said it's two layers. I did a little bit of an, a test or an experiment showing you here that you can see that there's a stitching that you have to put preliminary. It doesn't stay there. It, you take it out afterwards and you do like pounding so it looks like it's never been sewn together. And so first I'm going to have to put on this weird angle patch pocket, which I hope is not going to be too difficult, a three quarter of an inch seam all the way around because I have to separate it and turn it within itself. These are half inch seam allowances, but I'm going beyond that so I have room to work and see if that works. So now I have to separate the layers all the way around uh, for the different applications. So I, you can see here, I'm going to clip this and show you that it is stitched inside. I'm going to separate it pretty much mostly to the stitching itself all the way around. Now all of it is separated all the way around these two pieces and it's already kind of billowing out. We have to work on that. First I have to take out most of those threads that are inside there. Now that most of the little hairs here, little threads are taken out and it's rippling quite a bit before I do any stitching, I'm going to just press it down to try to bring back the wool to itself all the way around on both sides. Now I'm going to change the thread to the self thread. Now I'm going to mark a 3 eighths of an inch marking on my machine because I want to take not a quarter but three-eighths of an inch for the stitching. Now I'm going to be sewing with the color thread of my coat itself, three-eighths of an inch all the way around each layer. Now that I have that, I'm going to do the placement on the coat itself. Two inches over on the top and then it was a little less on the bottom because I had it kind of on an angle. So I'm going to kind of, and this is the opening here. So I'm going to try to map that out by putting where the stitching is there. And then about one and a half inches away from it there. This is the opening, so there's not going to be stitching down there. But I'm just doing that for the lineup. It's going to be stitched because this will be where your, my hand goes through. And so the hand will go like that. But it'll be stitched here. and all the way around. And then so I don't make a mistake, I'm going to take out these pins because it's not going to be stitched there, it's going to be open there. It's hugely important that the other side is exactly the same, so I'm putting them right sides together, pinned, and they are matching here and here and here. Now I'm going to stitch the one layer only to the coat 
at the 3 8 of an inch marking all the way around except for the opening. Now the magic happens of turning it by hand and stitching this all by hand. I'm doing the opening first, so I put the threaded knotted end inside the corner and I'm going to close those two pieces together. And I'm pressing under the layer I sewed and then press under the top layer two layers feed the knotted end inside the fold take the pushed area pushing them both inside and sewing that closed. You want to just close the two layers in the pocket like this. We're doing it by hand. Try this thimble again. If anything, I should just get used to wearing a thimble again. It's clumsy and awkward for me. Pushing as much of that in as I can. This pocket has a lot of corners because of the way I designed it. end here. I'm going to knot it. Now that all the edges are sewn, this is the opening. This is around the pocket here. Then take out all that contrasting thread that you had for your guide. So I'm going to remove all that thread, both the contrasting thread and any top stitching thread, even in the same color that might be showing. I'm just going to go ahead and take all that out. Before I do the next step, I want some reinforcement here. 
because I don't want that to pull. So I think I'm going to put a stitch putting my knot through that hole. And I'm just going to put like a back tacking stitch back and forth just to hold that portion down so that it's a little stronger. And then put it through there. That way it has a little bit more support. I'm going to do it on both sides. The iron with a damp handkerchief. I'm going to try to get rid of those markings on the pocket. Pressing it. You don't want any of those markings to show. Pat it down. A pocket on the coat. Clean inside and out.